What's up guys, c 13 here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you a really cool trick to allow you to transfer photos and videos off of a portable SSD onto your new iPad Pro. So as you guys may or may not know, the iPad Pro has one huge handicap and that is of course the lack of a file system the inability to read files directly off of any device and the complete lack of support for external storage in fact if you go to the Apple store and you ask them hey I have a USB stick I have a portable SSD that I keep on my pictures and videos that I want to edit on can I plug that into my new iPad Pro with USB-C right can I do that they'll say no the only thing that's supported is an SD card taken directly from a camera and even then not every camera's SD card will work correctly. And that has to do with Apple's, frankly, asinine file system format requirements for the SD card or whatever storage option you're trying to use. And as a result, it really only allows for camera functionality. But here's the trick. If you mimic that file system arrangement, you can get the iPad Pro to recognize any external storage that plugs directly into USB-C as an SD card. And that is what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. It's not very difficult. It doesn't require you spend money on anything except maybe one of these OTG connectors that goes from USB-C to USB 3.0A if your storage device uses USB-A and not USB-C directly. But other than that, you're not going to have to buy any wireless hard drives, any network drive solutions, or buy a bunch of iCloud storage to offload all your videos and pictures onto so that you can then get it onto your iPad. And this allows you to directly transfer from an external drive to your iPad. Now do understand this is not going to be able to circumvent the Photos app you're still going to need to import all your pictures and videos directly into the Photos app, but you can delete that afterwards. But at the very least, it will allow you to finally use external storage to hold all your videos and pictures, and then when you want to use them on your iPad, you can then transfer them. And when you're done, you can delete them while keeping the original files on here. So let's get going. Okay, guys, here we are at my computer. Now, here's the process. As you see, I have the SSD right here hooked up. And I've got some of uh, my video files from my Black Friday 2018 video, and also got some of my YouTube content files right here. But I can confirm that when you plug the SSD into the iPad, none of these video files or picture files show up. This is how it works. In order for this to be recognized by the iPad, you need to trick the iPad into thinking that this is an SD card from a camera. And this is how you do this. First of all, it will not recognize any storage device as usable if it does not contain a DCIM folder. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna title it all caps DCIM. Now you're gonna put your pictures and videos in here, but it's not that simple. Before you can even get your files in here, you need to create a nested folder and you're gonna you're gonna make sure that this name has eight alphanumeric characters. So you can name it anything you want. For simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That is eight characters there, and, but just stick to numbers and letters. Don't go crazy with symbols or characters. It could get confused. Now that you have your nested folder, I'm gonna go ahead and drag in two images. I've got one here of a red panda. I'm gonna drag that in. And another one I've got is a screenshot I took of the Ford Nationals in 2017. So that's another one I put there. But you're still not done. If you leave it like this and you plug this SSD back into your iPad, it will open the Photos app, but it will still tell you there's nothing to import. The key here is that it also will not recognize any picture or video file that doesn't have an exact eight character name. And in particular, I found the best format is IMG underscore followed by four numbers. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right here. We'll stick with that IMG underscore 7500 and for the screenshot we'll do why not IMG underscore 2017 there we go now we have both of our image files in this folder they're formatted correctly they're in the correct file system layout now let's eject the drive and plug her into the iPad and see what we get okay guys I got the SSD right here I got my iPad right here and I'm gonna go ahead 
and plug this directly into the USB-C port and you'll see it opens up the photo app and both pictures that I had put in the folder in the exact way appear. We have our red panda which we can preview here and we have that screenshot of the burnout contest from the 2017 Ford Nationals again right here and of course I can select these I can select to import right up here import complete would I like to keep the files or delete them we'll keep them for the sake of this and if I go to my photo albums here and I go to my imports the latest imports are right here and sure enough both of these pictures are here and again this of course also works with video files now do note the format for video files has to be either mp4 m4v and some .mov files work for some reason I've had some strange issues transferring over .mov files created by QuickTime and this isn't just an issue with this particular method I found that the iPad doesn't seem to like those files no matter how I transfer them over so do keep note some .mov files may not work but I've had no problems with mp4 and m4v so those are good to go of course nothing else will replace a built-in file system but that's not happening until Apple decides it will but anyway I hope this video has been helpful I hope if you are a professional who uses an iPad for editing pictures and videos that this actually does make a big difference for you and as always if you like the video give me a like if you have any questions comments or if you're not sure about the process leave that below and if you want to see more you know what to do get subscribed